I ain't trying to diss y'all, but to anybody that watches Red Table Talk, <laughs> does anybody else not get thrown off when Willow starts doing this shit? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> This was a video I was really looking forward to because I just knew that when I watched this episode of Red Table Talk with Snoop, I was going to get mad. I just, I'm thinking that Jada and her mom and Willow were going to tell Snoop, like, look, you were wrong for what you did, but, you know, the fact that you apologized just had us, in a way that they kind of did that, but, um, in a way they did kind of do that, but I, I went into this wanting to be mad and by the time that episode was over with, I did get a little bit of clarity. You know what I mean? I was like, all right, man, you know what? When, when Snoop, okay, when Snoop first dropped that video calling out Gail King, I, along with many other people, celebrated with that brother because, yes, we're tired of Okra and, and, and Kale King coming after us, you know? But yet, their homie Harvey Weinstein, even with this conviction... Oprah ain't say shit. I even heard Oprah turned off her comments on her IG. Why you turn off the comments, Oprah? Huh? How come How come you don't have a show? How come you don't have a special with Harvey Weinstein's victims? Like you did Mike. All right, like, like you did Michael Jackson with that uh, Leaving Neverland documentary, having the so-called victims on your show and patting them on the back and, oh, it's okay, it's okay, you know, we appreciate your strength and your courage. How come you had that for Harvey Weinstein? Okra and Kale have been crucifying us as of late. Oprah even, I'm sorry, Okra has even come after Russell Simmons doing a documentary. We feel attacked. And what happens to anybody, anything, any living being, when they're being attacked, they're going to strike back. My energy matches your energy. You attack me, I'm coming back after you. When Snoop said what he said, I felt it. And it reflected on what I was feeling. But watching that episode, I did realize, okay, Gail King is somebody's mama. Gail King is older than my mom. My mom can rub me the wrong way. She can rub people the wrong way. But and at the end of the day, that's still my mother. I would feel, you know, I would feel terrible if somebody called my mom what Snoop called Gail King. Alright, so I took that into, into consideration. That's somebody's mama. That's somebody's sister. That's somebody's auntie. You know what I mean? That's somebody's grandmother. You know what I mean? And um, so, yeah. Was Snoop wrong and how he felt? Nah. Was he wrong at his anger and his rage? Hell nah. Uh, the words that he used, you know what? I don't condone calling any woman a bitch, race, or whatever. I just don't condone that word, but have I used that word in moments of very justifiable anger? Hell yeah. Listen, I have I was on the road the other day. I, I do gig apping for a living, all right? I'm on the road the other day. Some chick cuts me off. First thing in my mouth, you dumb bitch. It came out. Do I really think she's a bitch? No. It, it came out. It's still not right, but my point is... You say shit out of anger, and yeah, I always say there's two people that tell the truth, those that are drunk and those that are pissed the fuck off. Yeah, at that moment, that's what that man felt, and that's what he said. And I was one of the ones that said Snoop should not apologize for what he said. But now I'm like, okay, yeah, he, he should have. You know, especially when he said his mom called him. His mom called him and had to check him, and that's when I was really like, all right, man, yeah, yeah, he... It, it was it was a good apology, but only apology as of you're a woman, you're old enough to be my mother, and for that I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry for how I feel about you because you you you're wrong. Gail was dead wrong for what she did, and my only issue with this whole situation, even with the red table talk, um, even though Jada did invite Gail King to come out to the show. She sent her open invitation because I'm curious how Jada's going to approach her. But it's like, when, when Gail said what she said, the only uproar came from black men. 
If there were any sisters that felt some type of way about it, please let me know. I, I didn't hear any sisters, any women come out and really um, be like, Gail, nah, you was wrong for that. Not that I know of. The biggest backlash came from men. When Snoop said what he said, now everybody would be like, no, 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 Snoop, Snoop, no, don't say that. Oh, come on. No, you can't come after her like that. Man, you have to apologize. My question now is, where's Kobe's apology? Where's Kobe's family's apology? Gail never apologized for what she said. Gail um, did that interview, and the only thing she said was it was taken out of context. They didn't air the whole thing. They don't need to air the whole thing. You can, you can have the most beautiful interview in the world, but the moment you say that dumb shit, then it, it just tanks the whole thing. Like I say, you can't pour syrup on shit and call it pancakes. No. She never apologized. But they're going to come out and say, Snoop, I accept your apology. Where's Kobe's apology? There's a time and a place for everything. Gail knows she was wrong for that. She knows she was wrong for bringing that up. You know what I'm saying? This man just passed. You had so much time when he was alive to have this interview and to confront him. But the reason why you don't do that is because you know Kobe would have read you your rights. He would have put you in your place. And you would have been looking crazy. you have been looking stupid. But you wait till this man is dead. The world is in mourning. Kobe Bryant was a, a, a world icon. People love this man. I'm I'm not I'm not a big Kobe fan, but I do respect the man and what he did and what and who he was, and especially as a black man, that that hurt that somebody a stand up guy like that, you know, a stand up father and and just a man. Life got taken early, so that hit home to me. The world was in mourning, and Snoop knew him personally. This was a friend of his. Now, tell me, if you have a friend or a sibling or whoever, and that person passes, and then somebody says some shit about them, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and be calm like, oh, uh, well, you know, uh, uh, no. You're going to get in there, like, motherfucker, what you say? Actually, Snoop was kind of calm in the way he came at that shit. Because <laughs> some motherfuckers would be like, mm, they would have really gotten the ass. You don't speak on somebody that just passed. Uh, you know, you don't speak on my loved um, person that just passed. And, you know, you don't, you don't do shit like that. All right? This motherfucker was loved. And you say that. I know I just call him motherfucker. But listen, I'm just... <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. Gail was wrong for what she did. And Kobe did not get an apology. All right. Not only did Kobe not get an apology, where is our apology? All right. Where is the man's apology? All right. The black men that you come after and crucify every day and try to make us look bad, you and Oprah try to make us look bad for every chance you get. I think Oprah only has like three uh, uh, black dudes that she fuck with. That's Will, Tyler Perry, and who else, man? Sidney Poitier. Oprah don't love us, but that's okay. I don't love you either, but I respect you. I respect you as a black woman. I respect you as somebody that could be my mom's or my grandma. I respect you in that sense, but I do not love you because you don't love me. You know what I'm saying? Where's Kobe's apology? Where's the black man's apology? That's what I'm waiting for. Snoop was a big man. You know, I give Snoop all the props in the world. That's a stand-up brother, it seems like. He went on that show, and he confronted it like a man. He didn't back down from it. And he stood by his apology and said he would like to meet Gail one-on-one. And that was a good moment on that show because I'm thinking to myself, I think of a lot of us, you know, in the social media age, everybody is always, you know, in the comments or, you know, making videos and shit. But it's different when you're one-on-one -on -one with the person, you know what I mean? And I think that's what's missing a lot now because there's just so much anger and so much, uh, just a lot of bad, foul shit coming out of people's mouths, but through the, the keyboard, through the, through the messengers or whatever. And I think if a lot of us were to sit down and have a conversation as adults, as people, I think we'll get a better understanding of us. You know what I mean? I think if Oprah and Gail actually sat down with a lot of brothers, maybe that that'll change their stance on a lot of things. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't hate, I don't hate them. I don't, but at the same time, I feel hurt by them because they're always coming after us. And being that these are two powerful people, you know, they do have the power to display that to the world. And now the world sees us a certain type of way because they trust Oprah, they trust Gail. So they're going to listen to them. 
a lot of white people follow them. So if Oprah and Gail says this about us, the white people are going to believe it. Well, this comes from their mouth and that's their people. Dead ass wrong. I want an apology. I won't feel good about this until Miss Gail, I'm going to call her Miss Gail just because she's older than my mom's, until Miss Gail comes out and says, I'm sorry to the brothers that, you know, that I hurt. I'm sorry to the, the Bryant family. You know, I was wrong. Just say that I'm wrong. Just own up to it. I was wrong. For some people, that's just very hard to do. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. Even the doing this YouTube shit, I've said some things and <laughs> reacted to some things. And I'm man enough to say that I was wrong with some shit that I said. But where's our apology? Snoop, big ups to you, man. And and doing that show with Jada. And also to Jada. And I don't know what the what the talk is about this Red Table Talk episode. I haven't heard any anybody talking about it yet. But just my, my stance on it. I mean, some people might come after Jada or whatever. But I think I, I ain't think she did a bad job. I think Jada did a pretty... I think her stance was um, was neutral, and I think she wasn't in attack mode, but she did say she was disappointed that he used that word, and she felt like it took away, you know, if, if she felt like she he was speaking to her and her daughter and her mom, and I understand that as a woman, especially as a black woman, you know, bitch is a very derogatory term, and so I can understand that, but at the same time, we are tired, man, we are tired, we are angry, we are tired, so yeah, we're gonna say some shit. Because we just, we were sick of it. And I think the way to uh, put it into it is having those type of conversations. But yeah, y'all, I just want to get my two cents on it. I thought it was a good episode. I think uh, Snoop did a great job. I think Jada and um, and her mom and Willow did a great job. There was no attacking. There was just more understanding. And like they said, it was about healing. And that's what I took away from it. Um... I'm pretty sure some people are really going to come after them and really just be like, oh, no, nah, fuck that. I, I'm not going to do that. I, I thought it was handled with class. Everybody showed class. And now I'm waiting for Miss Oprah and Miss Gail to say we apologize. Harvey Weinstein's in prison. Oprah and Gail ain't say nothing. But when it came to Cosby, Michael Jackson, Russell Simmons... Kobe Bryant, who's not even here to defend himself, they come after them with a vengeance, trying to cut their head off. Let's have that conversation. Anyways, y'all, I don't went on too long with this shit. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff that I that I missed out on. I'm not going to think about it till after I turn this goddamn camera off. But y'all, uh, what do you think about the whole Red Table talk with um with Snoop and, and Jada and them? Did you think it was a good conversation? Do you think it was bullshit? Do you think Snoop should have stood by his guns and be like, nah, fuck that? Uh, comment freely below. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Rashad G signing out. Sorry. Notification bell in the corner. Hit that like and subscribe if you did the content. Now, Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.